वेलकम टू ट्वेंटी फिंगर्स टू ब्रेन दिस इज पार्ट ट्वेंटी ऑफ ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग कार्ड प्रोजेक्ट इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी आर सीन प्रोडक्ट स्टॉक कोड एंड डिजाइन द ओनली थिंग वी आई फॉरगेट टू एक्सप्लेन इज लाइक इन द प्रोडक्ट स्टॉक फॉर द डी डी एल कैटेगरी एंड आर बी एल प्रोडक्ट स्टॉक वी आर कॉलिंग द सेम मेथड गेट अवेलेबल स्टॉक सो इन पार्ट ट्वेंटी वेगम टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द डिजाइन एंड कोड फॉर द इनकम रिपोर्ट सो लेट मी रन द प्रोजेक्ट here we have the last page is like income report when we click on income report we get to see what are the products sold and how much earnings we have made so here the page is income report.aspx so to add a income report.aspx page right click on the admin add new item select web form using master page name it as income report.aspx click on add when you click on add there will be a prompt to add a, a master page from the master page selection list you can select admin master dot master and click on okay when you click on okay income report dot aspx will be added in the admin folder so when you go in the design we will find that the entire content placeholder is empty so let's go in the source in the source just like other pages which we have discussed in our previous videos we are adding a div and naming it as income report then we have a table with 1 tr second tr three tr and with four trs in the first tr table row we are adding a radio button list with three parameters today this month and this year the value is 1 2 and 3 the default selected value will be today and for this radio button list we have a selected index change event and auto post back equal to true the repeat direction is horizontal we go in the design view right click properties name it as rbl income filter in the events go on selected index change double click so this get rbl selected index change will get generated in the .cs file the code file of this income report the next we have an empty table row after that we have a label to show what is the income so we have named it as lbl income the final table row is having a grid view just like other grid views which we have discussed in our previous videos for product stock and customer orders it is a similar kind of grid view here we are binding the id customer name customer phone number total products and the total price and the auto generate columns equal to false to change the design of this grid view you can go in the grid view select auto format and select the design whichever design you want click on apply the design will get applied to the grid view so let's now move towards the source code so right click on the page view code you can also navigate from income report expand and income report.aspx.cs file here we have included two namespace using system.data for using the data tables and another one is shopping hard.business layer to use the shopping cart class on initial page load we have get income report this get income report will get called for the first time then we are passing a flag the flag simply is we are getting the flag value of the flag from the radio button list which can be 1 2 or 3 based on the parameters selected by the user then from making use of shopping cart we are calling get income report method which is a part of shopping cart.cs file shopping cart business layer shopping cart inside the shopping cart we have get income report the get income report is simply having one parameter what is the report type the report type can be of three type today this month or this year we are calling the stored procedure sp get income report so let's open the stored procedure sp get income report in the 
shopping cart database we have programmatically section inside the programmatically we have store procedures and those store procedure section you have to create a new store procedure get income report so the syntax for creating a new store procedure we have already discussed in our previous video but let's take one minute to create it again create procedure sp get income report the only parameter we are passing here is report type the name should be similar to what we have mentioned in our c sharp code after that we begin with begin then we have a try catch begin try then we declare three parameters one is month today and year so to get what is today we have to get use this sql functions which is and let me run this okay so when i run it here actually we have three we are getting values in three in all the three parameters which we have declared here month today and year so today month and year to get today we have to use the day function which is an inbuilt function in sql server then get date get date day to get the month get date month get date to get the year year get date then we have three if conditions based on the report type all these three conditions will be running the same query but the only change will be the parameter so let's first discuss the report type if report type is one that means the user is requesting the income for today so it will go inside the if part and with there we have a run query so select star from the day because if we see the customer details table let me run a select query for customer detail table if you see the customer details table here we have the date time so what we do is select star where day is day of order date time as today's date month of orders date time as this month and year of orders date time as this year from customer details so this is an inner query when we run this inner query when we run this inner query we are storing the result of this inner query inside for example let's run it so here we get it today's day this month and year 8/4/2005 10/4/2015 like this we are getting three parameters so it's select star comma with this three parameters so when we do it we store all the values in income table and on the income table we apply a where condition where today's day equal to today this month equal to month and this year equal to year if report type is 2 that means the user is requesting for this month so here in the where condition we only apply two parameters this month and this year the report type is 3 that means the user is requesting for this year in that case we only apply for this year and where the where condition is only having this year equal to year the rest of the two parameters we are ignoring 
so this stored procedure will get us this stored procedure will fetch the records for showing on the for showing on the grid view about the income and the products which are sold so this here we will in the income report dot cs file we get all the records inside the data table then what we do is we do a sum if the records are greater than zero then we do all the calculation if it is not greater than zero then we simply uh, display the method like no records available for example in case of today it shows no record available because we there is no product sale for today so here what initially we do we bind all the records to the grid view then we display we do a sum we have all the record in the data table so we using the compute method which is an inbuilt method for doing the calculation on data table we do a sum of total products total products will give us an insight of about how many products are sold and then we do a compute on sum of total price total price will give us the sum of all the purchase which is done for that particular year month or day then we display it in income lbl income which is product sold equal to product sold and total income as total income so this way for example here we have product sold equal to 20 so we do a sum of all the products and sum of all the price using this this dt dot compute method and whenever there's a change in the selection of the selection of the radio button list we again call the same method get income report which is getting called from the page load method so this was a small piece of code to get the income report so we are almost done with all the pages on the admin side the only page left is how we are tracking the order so in our next video we'll see how the user is tracking the order and the status of the order so this was about the income report thank you for watching this video you can drop a comment or leave a message on our facebook page also you can visit our blog 20 fingers to brain blogspot.com don't forget to subscribe to our channel for latest updates thank you have a nice day